no? <laughs> Luigi's Mansion is getting a 3DS remake, so I find it only fitting to review the original game on GameCube. Let's start with the story. It begins with Luigi winning a brand new house from a contest. However, he didn't enter any contest. Regardless, Luigi enters the mansion to find out it is his brother's ghost who have kidnapped his brother Mario. Luigi is terrified. As he is trembling with fear, he finds an old man fighting back. His name is Professor Elvin Gad, or Egad for short. After returning to the professor's lab, he teaches and trains Luigi how to fight back against the ghosts. The professor gives Luigi his new invention, the Poltergeist 3000. So as we know, this is the first game where Luigi is the main character. And no, we do not have Mario's missing, that educational game sucks. This is an action-adventure game where we hunt ghosts kind of based on the great movie Ghostbusters. This isn't a traditional game for the Mushroom Kingdom. Instead of jumping on turtles and finding a gold pole, you vacuum up ghosts until the lights turn on. The objective is to look for dark rooms full of ghosts. Once the room is clear, the lights turn on. To capture a ghost, you must stun it with your flashlight and reel it in with your vacuum cleaner. Now sometimes you could occasionally find a money with a bit of exploration. You can find coins, dollar bills, gold bars, diamonds, etc. Some ghosts carry loads of money, and the more money you collect, the closer you get to the best ending to the game, which I will not spoil. There are also boss ghosts who are tougher than normal ghosts, of course. They require a bit of thought to capture. For example, the first major boss is a ghost baby who is asleep and cannot be captured while little. If you wake him up while interacting with his rocking horse, he will wake up and want to play. Throwing a ball at him will trigger the fight where you are suddenly much smaller than him and must avoid his attacks to th and throw another ball at him to stun him and vacuum him, uh, vacuum him up. Repeat the cycle until his HP has gone from 100 to 0. Eventually, in the game, Luigi comes across a room where he unknowingly releases an army of boos. After returning to the professor's lab, he finds out King Boo is behind all this. He has captured Mario and it is up to Luigi to save him. There are many ghosts you will cross and a total of 50 boos. It isn't required to get all 50 boos, but doing so will get you a reward. It is required to get most boos to beat the game. With all that said, Luigi's Mansion is an awesome GameCube launch title. Fun fact, the GameCube is the, major, the first major home console from Nintendo to launch without a Mario game. This game is still a lot more fun. I would have liked it if the game was longer, but I still give the game a 10 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Please let me know your thoughts on this game in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell every time I upload a video. Mm-hmm. <laughs>